guys so i'm starting off by priming my eyelid using the elf eyelid primer and also just making sure that i blend it out a bit using my fingers and then now i'm going in with the ala girl wanderlust eyeshadow palette and i'm using that brick red eyeshadow and i'm just applying it above my crease area then i'm going in with the essence the nude edition and i'm using that brown shade the darkest brown that they have on there and i'm just applying it on my crease area now then i'm going in with the concealer and this one is uh, from avon cosmetics and it's called fair so i'm just going in with this shade although it's a little bit brighter but i Feel like the brighter the concealer the more pop I get from my eyeshadow shades so I'm just using this concealer to kind of like cut out the crease area and also prime that um, area that we're gonna be applying the eyeshadow on So once I'm done with that, I'm going in with the sort of like shimmery, kind of like with a little bit of blue shine on it from the LA Girl Wanderlust palette again. And then on top of that, I'm going in with the TZ Cosmetics uh, glitter. Just using that silver glitter and I'm applying it just on top of that base that we laid out. And then just making sure that by using the tapping motion I place the glitter well without even applying any sort of um, adhesive or glitter glue and then just doing it again in reverse I'm just kind of like darkening out that outer corner bit using the same shades and then here I'm just quickly outlining my upper lash line as well as my lower lash line using the black gel liner and also making sure that I wing it out a little bit going in with a little bit of mascara so as to make sure that my false lashes and my natural lashes blend in together now i'm going in with that girl uh, brightening face primer from benefit cosmetics and as you can see it's a bit too much so i was kind of like oh my goodness this is not the kind of primer i'm actually used to it's a bit too bright and not invisible as um the others that i'm used to so i was like oh my gosh freaking out a bit but it worked out after a few blends so now i'm going in with my bobby brown foundation making sure that i use the beauty blender to kind of like blend everything in and also spread it out evenly So here yeah, was basically just being a clown once again. I was like, yo guys, I'm giving myself a proper face bit. So <laughs> don't mind me being a clown. So now I'm going in with the e.l.f. Cosmetics um, Tone Correcting Concealer. And this one is in the shade Ivory. And I love using this concealer from e.l.f. because it's very, very sort of like do i say sheer is not as heavy as the other concealers i'm used to so blending it out doesn't require a lot of time or a lot of effort although it does not have full coverage but it works if you're not going into sort of like a heavy makeup and you just want to brighten out those areas that you you know you you want to stand out So making sure that I also highlight the bridge of my nose as well as my forehead and my chin.
so just quickly i'm taking my beauty blender and also just blending out that concealer that we've just applied So now I'm going in with the e.l.f. clarifying pressed powder and this one is in the shade toffee so I'm using the shade to kind of contour my nose as well as the hollows of my cheeks. So now I'm going in with the LA Girl Pro powder, um, translucent powder and basically this is what I'm using to kind of like set those areas that we apply the cream concealers on. So now I'm going in and I'm kind of like removing all that excess powder also making sure that I kind of like blend out that contour a little bit more because it was a bit too visible and I just wanted it to look just a bit slightly visible. So now I'm going in with the W7 Big Blush, Big Bold Blushes palette and I'm using that sort of like a soft brown shade a soft brown blush shade if I may add and it has a little bit of shimmer in it so that's what I'm using to kind of like um, make the apples of my cheeks stand out a little bit more also using the highlighter that they have on there um, basically using it to highlight the center of my nose as well as on my cupid's bow Now I'm going in with the Milani lip liner and this one is in a shade Brazilian brown just to kind of like outline uh, my lips a little bit and also giving them sort of like a contour. And once that's done I'm gonna go in with the Rimmel London uh, gloss lip liner and this one is in a shade 004 so bay and this is sort of like glossy so i don't necessarily need to go in with the lipstick because it just works perfectly because it's glossy and i certainly hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did please don't forget to subscribe comment like and share until next time bye bye